Talk about replacement costs. There's a lot of questions with that, and that's why Mark is here to answer. He's asking, how do we know how much to insure the house for? So the most important the most important concept you have to understand is that until you get to this moment where you're talking to an insurance professional, you've been thinking about the market value of the home, right? Yep. The home is not just the physical house, it's the school system, it's the neighborhood, it's the yard, it's a lot of things, not just the physical, but it's the it's the where it's located and how far it is from the city or how far it is from your work. And that's where we get the market value, which is what you're paying for when you buy the house. However, the insurance company, the insurance industry, doesn't care as much about the market value. They really, 90% of what you're buying when you're getting a homeowner's insurance policy is you're paying to rebuild that physical structure, that the house, the physical four walls, the house itself. So what insurance companies talk about is replacement cost estimate, which is not the same thing as market value. And replacement cost estimate is how much it costs to rebuild the house that was there, new of course, uh, at the current time. So a lot of, that's a different number than the market value, right? That's not accounting for the schools and mm -hmm. all those things I talked about and, the, and how close it is to the park uh, and, and, and that kind of stuff. It, it's referring to what's the current value to rebuild a home there, what's the current cost of construction, what's the what's current the supply cost? chain going on right now. As everyone knows, since COVID ended, I always say it's a different insurance world post-COVID. The supply chains are still slow, the cost of materials has gone up, the cost of labor has gone up dramatically. This has all raised the replacement cost value. So I've had clients very recently come to me and say, Mark, my insurance premium went up, but my local Zillow told me that, uh, that, that the, my value of my home is actually 5% lower than it was before, and I tell them, that's got nothing to do, A, it's got nothing to do with I'm B. I'm glad you mentioned Zillow. Um, Sorry. I no, it is what it is. Zillow's estimates are pretty much, here's the best way I can describe it. Close your eyes, pick a number, that is your number. That's that's a Zillow's estimate in, in a nutshell. And it even has, le and, and understanding that, it even has less to do with the replacement cost estimate or what you should be insuring your actual house for. You know, this kind of comes into what I normally say, Talk to your professionals. Don't leave it by chance or guesstimating, hey, you know what, my uncle, aunt's, cousin's, toenail clipper person told me, hey, that I could do this when they haven't purchased the house in a while and they are not an insurance person. They're, that's not their specialty. Talk a pro to a professional. You have access to a professional, talk to one. If you don't have access to a professional, talk to your realtor, talk to your loan officer. They'll point you to the right direction. They'll point you to Mark, hopefully. I want to take yeah. it another step farther regarding uh, the value of the homes and how it should be insured. The other thing you should be aware of is that three different insurance companies can look at the same property and have three completely different valuations. Um, that's just based on their different, uh, as I've said before, underwriting or their different actuarial studies. That confuses people, understandably, mm -hmm. a little bit. They're like, wait a minute, I'm paying 700000 for the house. But this insurance company says it can be rebuilt for 750000 This other insurance company says it can be rebuilt for 600000 And the other insurance company says it can be rebuilt for 800000 What's right? What's wrong? Now, that's a, a granular question, and, and, and it's not an easy question to answer. And that's, again, why you have to talk to your real estate professional, yeah. your mortgage professional, as well as your insurance professional, and try to figure out what's going to be best for you in the situation. And really, ultimately, at the end of the day, what's going to get you to closing? Yeah, I'm glad you said that. I think it's very, you have to be transparent with your, all your professionals that you're working with. And if you've learned nothing from me, basically, from all my videos that I've done in the past, I keep preaching the same message. Talk to your professional. It's not just talk to your professional, but actually listen to your professionals. They're there for a reason. They've been doing this for a while. It's not a hobby. It's basically what they do, their bread and butter. And a lot of people have hired them for a specific reason to get them from point A to point B. So you, if you're lucky enough to get a good professional who has that many people that they've helped in the past and they're still helping, you should really take heed their advice, listen to their advice, and see basically what, they're giving the best options that are available to you. Based, everybody's completely different, so there's gonna be different options for each person, not one case is gonna be the same. So there's gonna be different options out there for you, but listen to your professional. Here are the options that we have for you. We have A, B, C, or maybe there's a D. Here are the best options based on your scenario. Let's go through all of them. Let's discuss basically what they are, what the pros and cons are, and then you make the, the best decision for you and your family. Yeah, that, I, I couldn't agree more. Please, my name is Mark Schneider, Goosehead Insurance in Melville, New York. You can call me anytime at 917-831-4987. And I'm Evan St. Gerard, your local real estate agent here in Queens, Long Island, Brooklyn, Bronx, New York. And you can reach me at 917-975-5985. I'm on all over social media. 
Our website is mynyhomesales.com. I'll say that one more time, mynyhomesales.com. And that's pretty much it. All we're going to say is basically if you have any comments or you found anything of value from what you, you heard, feel free to let us know. If there's more information that you would like to request from Mark, feel free to reach out to him. Feel free to reach out to me basically regarding anything real estate. And that's pretty much it. Go have a great day. Good luck, everybody.